Hello everyone, I'm Brian and today I'm doing a reaction to Emerging India, the Rising Superpower. So this is a request, I do request, if you have a request, please leave it in the comments below. Please leave a link to that video, precisely that video, so I know exactly which one to, uh, to watch. Please make sure it's sub their dub so I can follow along as well. Alright, so uh, I know uh, there's a lot of viewers that I have that are from India. I do want to expand out a bit more, but I mean I am still curious about all countries in general anyway, and a good start would be India anyway. I don't know why I said anyway three or four times there, but anyways, <laughs> let's go ahead and uh, give this a shot. <clears throat> India. Third largest economy. Third largest US, China, India. Fifth largest economy. Fourth most powerful country in the world. I do wonder about these statistics. I'm sure there are some truth to these, as in like it could literally be that, but I'm just wondering where the statistics are coming from. And I know it is a rising economy. I used to follow phone tech and stuff, and I know a lot of phone companies are hitting up India a lot. And I, I think I hear also India's, India watches a lot of YouTube as well, T-Series being one and I think everyone, not everyone, but just there's a lot of people watching on their phones. So this is a very heavy on mobile over there. It's the largest force in the world. Ooh. What is one million in reserve personnel? India is a very large country. I mean, what I'm thinking is the fact that, you know, it's, it's really weird. Um, don't take this the wrong way, but you know, um, third world countries tend to, I don't want to say reproduce, but tend to pop out a lot of babies. And there are reasons for that because, you know, third world countries don't tend to have good health care, so children tends to don't tend not to make it sometimes. And you make a lot so that you have some children that will live. I know a certain area that is quite like that. My uh, on my mom's side, I think it was eleven children. But uh, but yeah, and as as you can see, the as the country develops, it tends to slow down. You look at uh, Japan, which was kind of sc kind of scary. Uh, they are quite well developed, but even though I I, I do want to travel over there someday, um, they're not too techni uh, technologically advanced to still use paper money. Credit cards very far few in between, but it's growing even though there's a lot of technology over there. I believe their population is on a decline, at least last I remember, which is kind of weird. Um, and then the US, the, the growth of the population is slow. I think as as you become more developed country, there becomes a it's like a change of mind or something. It just you are no longer focused on that one thing, I guess. I'm not a scientist or whatever it is, psychologist or whatever, but it's just you, you see that trend as you as the nation becomes more developed, it the population tend to slow in growth. So I don't know. I mean it's it's until to that point it, the population tends to grow and not necessarily rapidly, but just it tends to grow and it, Again, Japan just very odd. It's just it's actually going in reverse. Now I hope there it stops that and just at least steady or slight increase. But it's yeah, U.S. I think it's slowed down. Anyway, let's continue on. I said too much. <laughs> well, well, active personnel. Well, that's the So let's see, that's one thing I will say too, um, <clears throat> the US is quite lucky to, um, in terms of neighbors, it doesn't have very hostile neighbors. They have the Canada and then you have uh, Mexico along with Central and South America. There's too much of a border between North and South America, whereas the Middle East is such in conflict. Uh, Africa, mm, I'm not too sure. I heard there was some internal conflict. 
Um, but then you got Europe being attached to, say, the Middle East as, along with Russia, especially during World War One and Two. It's like we had U.S. had uh, had it really easy in a sense um, that there's they have no neighbors, and it, if anyone were to invade America, they would have to come across at the Atlantic or the Pacific or through South America or Central America. It's just America is very well positioned to develop without much issue. I've not heard of that. I heard Israel was also quite powerful as well. I mean, uh, um, I hear things about like Israel having very high-tech anti-missile technology as well, considering that they're a very small nation. Namaste. <laughs> but uh, I will say, um, speaking about the billions part, let's go back here. <clears throat> um, what is it? Uh, I do know, I don't know if necessarily there's a stereotype or not, but I hear that a lot of Indians that study medicine leave and try to come to the U.S. to make a lot of money. Um, not sure. Um, I don't know if there's like a uh, a like the state controls the, uh, the healthcare over there or not, but it is there seems to be some truth to that. There are I know there are a lot of Indian doctors in the U.S. like a lot, lot, and I'm good for them for being successful and good for them for you know um, well becoming successful in their life and achieving the goals that they want. That's what a lot of people in the, the U.S. just don't understand is that they they're just. They don't know how to put in hard work, and I know Asians in general put in a lot of hard work. Because what Indian thinks means the world is one family. Boy, if only the world could think that way too, you know? It'd be a much nicer world. You know what, I'm gonna have to mute this, I think, because I don't know how copyright the music is. Wait, 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 hold on, sorry. Uh, country with the most vegetarian people. Gordon Ramsay, I believe, went over there, and <laughs> I watch I watch his shows too, and I love whenever he goes out to these places. And um, and it's, it's amazing, like, he is really, really cool for going out and trying out the food and learning from the locals. That is the best thing you could do if you want to do something expand your horizon especially since you're a cook there's so many every country has their way of cooking learn as many ways as possible integrate combine I know uh, good lord this is gonna be a long video I'm so sorry but I'm I have to speak my mind that's that's what I hope you come here to listen to is for me to blabber on about hopefully something but not nothing okay so um there are Japanese people who are very true to their traditions which that's fine. There should be traditional food, but they scuff or dislike whenever someone tries to change their traditional foods. I mean, there are, there's not just Japanese. There are many other people out there who, who does that. I'm like, are you serious? You you don't have to say that as true sushi or whatever, but it could be a blend of something. Like, imagine someone decided to put sushi in yogurt or something. That's not going to be good, but I'm just saying if there's a, there's a place for that, that's fine, leave it as its own. It doesn't have to be traditional sushi. It could be that. Because if you want to be traditional about everything, don't eat fish with anything because fish is the way it was cooked long before we started adding ketchup or whatever to it, you know? The true fish is just fish and nothing else. No spice, no nothing. When you start adding spice to it, it's no longer just fish, it is something else. But there are people out there who are very traditionalist and don't want the, anything to change. Again, fine. Leave that as traditional, but also incorporate other things to see what uh, what expansions you can do with that food. Okay, let's go on again. I talk too much. I I know a lot of manufacturing did go to India. Sorry, I got the reposition. Second, yes, probably number one world user of smartphones too. 
I do wonder who's uh, number one, two, and three. Is it China, Mexico? Who's number one? Is it America? I know we had a big run, uh, big manufacturing. Third large electricity producer. Is that uh, green energy? China's number one in a lot of these, the largest spice producer. Yeah. Is it spice really? Huh. One of the best in the IT industry more than Yes, although I will say there's a lot of scams coming from India too. And then whenever I call, uh you know, when you call tech support and stuff, I notice uh tends to be a lot of Indian people. Now I don't know whether it's coming from India or whether they just so happen I just so happen to call up a, an Indian person. Not all the time, it's usually mixed. But there is another country that I'm familiar with that when I call I can I can I can uh, I know their accent and I'm like are you from this place and like yeah like yeah I, rec I recognize the accent and how they speak in English it's just it I just know it <laughs> largest foreign exchange reserve Hollywood produce film industry Hollywood who's the next one is it I don't know who's number two then. I figured this would be second. Hmm. Who's second? Let me know if you know. I think I, India has to be. Oh, well, maybe. No, I was going to say China, but not really. Maybe China. Is he most richest you could say the richest actor you don't say most richest but is he I wonder how much uh, Tony Stark how much uh, Robert Downey Jr. is I know he, he was quite the mo the highest paid actor supposedly and maybe just the US I'm not sure <clears throat> jeez <laughs> oh that is an expensive building. Richest person. The richest person in the world. Okay. 600 million richest actor. The richest person in the world. What does he do? What does he own? What does he produce? Mikesh Bambani. Yeah. Two billion dollar house. Oh my gosh, are you serious? Hey man, you got that money, I guess you can flaunt it second in the Yes, for sure. I figured it'd be a lot higher than the second. Maybe who's number one? That's our India. Yeah, Asians, man. They are Asians are number one in IT, science, and probably business. Well, I hear Jews are actually up there too in terms of business. That represent engineers from Earth. Now, are they Native American Indians? Is it not 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 a, not as an Indians the with the 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 feather, but as in though Indians who immigrated to the U.S. and then their children who may have been genetically Indian but are native to America I don't know that's that's the thing that I, I kind of think about is the fact that are you you are genetically Indian but if you don't know your culture you've never been in your culture are you still technically Indian you are to a degree genetically you are but culturally you're American so it's kind of uh I don't know let me th let me know your thoughts down there I mean you are genetically Indian but if you've never been to India India never experienced the culture you know, I know in, in uh, God, I'm rambling on again, but I, again, I just want to throw my thoughts out there. And every time I watch them, I think a lot anyways. So I know there are, I believe it's Japanese people. Again, I don't know. Japanese are very strict, at least the older folks, the newer ones. I'm not too sure. But anyways, there are certain cultures that even though you are Asian or whatever, a race you are if you have not been if you've not grown in that culture they're not accepting of you 
However, they're more willing to, ex they'll be a little bit hesitant to accept someone of not their color or race, but if they grew up in a culture and knows how to speak the language and s speak the culture, they'll, more, they'll be more willing to accept them as one of their own than someone who looks like them but knows nothing about the culture. That, and that's that's my my thoughts there, you know. So again, you may you may you may be the you may be uh, presenting all these numbers that are Indian, but are they from and culturally Indian, or are they Indian by genetics? but American culturally. No, is that a big deal? Probably, more than likely not. Oh, I didn't know he was the... Uh... Dang, India is taking over the world. <laughs> Did he save Nokia? I know Nokia was in trouble big time for going over to Microsoft exclusively, and they almost killed uh, their brand. And now they're suffering for it, even though it went to uh, to Android. I don't know how well it's doing. I don't think it's doing all that great. I think it's it's barely surviving. Pepsi. Adobe, <laughs> Harman, Harman Kador or something like that, like the speakers. Wait, what? The youngest country average age 29 years. I don't understand what they're trying to say there. Are they saying the average age of Indian people is 29? That means there's a lot more young people. That means the thing, the deed has been going on. <laughs> I, I'm, uh, that's what I'm assuming it's saying. The youngest country a average age. I'm assuming the average age of India is 29 years old. It means a lot more young people there. 17 of the 20th fast growing cities in the world are from India. Now to say fast growing is one thing. Um, it's You cannot, whenever your city is already like up there, you cannot grow that much quicker. But that's actually uh, India. What else? What other countries could be competing with them? That's developing. I wonder if China's already surpassed. Like they've already had their their growth. I don't think any other country is necessarily developing like India is. Yeah, I don't think so. I think every other country that is not already developed. Maybe still a third world country. There's a particular country that I know of that is actually quite developing, and I went over there, and uh, it, in its metropolitan area, it is giving there, but everywhere else is still kind of lagging behind. But it's, it's just the way it is. I won't say what that country is just because it's my little secret. Old rising economy. I'm sorry. I, I guess I muted this entire time I didn't realize it, but it's just music. I'm, I hope it's okay, because it's probably all copyrighted in a way. Third largest economy by 2025. I wonder who they're going to surpass second largest economy by 2050. World's largest PPP economy by 2050. What's PPP? Working on those. Modern infrastructure for 2025. Hey, let me know 2025. Let me see if this is true. But I'm I'm wondering if building modern infrastructure just means in just certain areas, not necessarily the entirety entirety of the uh, the uh, Indian uh, area, Indian country. Whoo, that's a lot of money. A 
couple 12 new smart cities and 18 industrial cities that's one thing I'll say um, <clears throat> when you have when you have to build up cities especially in modern time you have the ability to build it right um, the first time around in a sense as in if there's already pre-existing stuff there to be able to upgrade those things it's much tougher because you have to work around pre-existing things along with everything else around you but if you have nothing there and you can kind of clear it out and build it from the ground up that makes it a lot easier it's kind of like when you buy a house and you're like oh I want, I want cabling to run through the wall while it's it's easier if you could build the house and get all the cabling done while the house is being built versus having to have it run through the walls especially during the thin, thin walls and not having to break you know break your walls run down the wire and then reseal the wall you know as it's being built you can have those cables ran and then it'll be much easier kind of like that that's my thought this project costs I'm curious about what what does it mean by smart cities what does what is what's the requirement to be a smart city good lord it's gonna run forever I'm sorry Jesus <laughs> this six minute video is turning into 30 minutes Jesus I think too much I'm sorry largest number of production under construction in the world I know the Middle East like Dubai and all that they've developed a lot too um, I know there's a lot of investments going over there with uh, companies and stuff so number of skyscrapers under construction in the world well you know when you can't build out you have to build up trying some new modern greenfield cities Boy, if India can it can uh, if India can build world peace, that'd be that'd be fantastic. That is a crazy structure. Uh, I don't know if you want a purely glass structure. Well, it's not purely glass, but the outside being purely glass, it'd be. There are some straight, really, um, really, really um, amazing structures around the Middle East because there's a lot of money over there with the oils and stuff. It's just crazy. Just crazy building designs it's not necessarily efficient but it looks amazing <laughs> but you know sometimes you just got to show off I suppose all right so that's interesting um I didn't I, the one thing I will say that I, I really enjoyed on this one at, at the very least it's not necessarily knowing that it's like the fourth most powerful or third second largest numbers the the CEOs the, the amount of people that are in a CEO position of very large businesses that was pretty cool to, uh, to learn and um, again you know um, what was that uh, the doctor's science yeah that's all that's all true it's, you're starting to hear that um, when I, doctors IT I'm not sure I didn't know about this uh, the science portion which I guess is a NASA I know about technology yes absolutely Asians in general are about technology I know Japan is I know China, they've, they've created a lot of uh, technology there. India now, apparently, um, although I'll say the Philippines, it's not technology. It's actually, they, they tend to go to a trend, which was nursing. Now, apparently, it's hospitality. But it might be between nursing and hospitality. I know, I know to get into that quite a lot. Um, what else? But yeah, interesting to know about the CEOs. I didn't know that many uh, CEOs were Indian. Anyways, that's all I have to say. Thanks for watching. If you, uh, if you like my content, please consider subscribing. Thumbs up, thumbs down, down below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next vid.